All right, let's try this out. Uh, Amazon has Code Whisperer, which is their version of GitHub Copilot. And it's free, which is awesome because GitHub Copilot is not. Uh, and I thought, let's try it out. Let's, let's stack them up beside each other and see how they do specifically with JavaScript TypeScript programming. So I have them running here. We've got Amazon on the left. We've got GitHub Copilot on the right. They've both been disabled in their respective workplaces or workspaces. Hopefully they're not talking to each other behind the scenes. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to fetch some data from GitHub, display each piece in an unordered list. You see the index to HTML have a UL here. Uh, we're going to loop over that, put them in an LI, and then delegate an event listener on the output so that when you click any of the list items, a single event handler will copy the text to clipboard. So let's see how they do. Uh, let's go, let's start with Amazon here, fetch data from GitHub. So we'll say, let's start with an async function. There we go, fetch data from GitHub. Ooh, Matt Borger, wonder who that is. So what does it do? Await fetch, awaits a response, returns the data. Yeah, that looks good. Let's see what Copilot gives us. Let's give it in a sync. Brad Travesty. All right, same thing. Pretty much the same thing. All right, okay, good. Uh, display each item in an unordered list. So a sync function, display GitHub data. Okay, so display GitHub data, data is equal to fetch, select the LI, create one LI, and then append it. So I said each piece of data, but it is only doing the login username and appending it in, okay? Uh, let's see how it does here. Okay, look at that already, it, it knows to select the item. Oh, now it knows. Okay, so I think in this case, both of them goofed up because output is an unordered list, but it didn't, both of them created the unordered list. I, I think it didn't know that that's what the output was. Also, I think in this case, GitHub is looking at my HTML, whereas it looks like Code Whisperer is not parsing my HTML. Both of them have not written any types. I bet if I put a generic on this query selector of HTML unordered list and try that again, I bet it won't create the UL. Let's try it with both. Yeah, it did it. Ah, come on now. Oh, didn't do all the data there. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's try that with this one as well. Um, we'll throw it a bone here. Let's try it again. Select the ul.output. Create a new li element. You just give me the comments, bud. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll throw it a bone and we'll actually, we'll, we'll copy this one over and, and give it that and let's see what it does now. Ooh, it's using a for loop and appending it each time. Now it's getting into some no, I just want you to close it. Okay, so that's one thing I find a lot of these. They don't know where to put their curly brackets, which is not all that different from myself. All right, n neither of them are writing types. I bet if we were to uh, send this to Copilot brushes, add types, boom. <laughs> it just added any. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's okay. That's okay. We can add types later. Okay. So key in data. I prefer this one because this is touching the DOM many times. This one's touching it once. Uh, let, let's see how we're doing. 
Um, let's make a init function. Run it on page load. Let's see what GitHub does. Ooh. Okay, that makes sense. This one took the data in as a function. This one fetched it inside of the function. Tomato, tomato. I think a lot of people probably prefer this one where you pass it in. That way you can reuse it for, for different types. Uh, but looking okay. Uh, let's, let's get the sucker running and see how we're doing. Oh, I think I forgot to actually pipe in my own username in the Amazon one. Yeah, Matt Borger. Sorry. That was my bad. Okay. So they, they both did what I wanted. Amazon is more actually did exactly what I said, which is literally every single element. And GitHub is just like, oh, you probably only want these ones. Okay. Uh, but both of them are working. Okay. Let's go to back here. Let's do the next one. Delegate an event listener. So when something on the dot output, I should put a space there. When it's clipped and copied to the clipboard. And the same with this one. All right, Amazon, let's see what you got. Output is dog of me. Okay, good. Output the out event listener. None of these are checking that the elements could possibly null, be null. It is asserting the div, the target as a div element. That's pretty common to do with the e.target because it's that's a pain in the ass otherwise. Text content, navigator, clipboard, write text, console log, the text. Okay. It's decent. Uh, oh, forgot a, a closing bracket there, Amazon. Let's see what Copilot has. Oh, it's just cowboy in it going straight up. So, query selector, output, add event listener, click. The target is not a list. Item. Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is right, this is right. This is, yeah, I think this is right. Because this is, event, this is the event delegation. We're gonna listen for the click on this because it exists. And that's a single click. We don't have to loop over every single LI, however, the target is the thing that was actually clicked. And grab the text and write it to clipboard. This one also forgot the closing curly bracket. All right, let's test them out. Console. Yeah, that worked. It's working. Let's see this one. Both of them worked. I like it. Okay. Wow, both of them did very, very good. Um, it's <laughs> it's really hard to see which one might be better. Uh, and also, well, I think when you're in larger projects, it gets to know the type of code that you like to write. I even threw it a little, a little bit of a softball by putting that async word there initially. Otherwise, sometimes when I do these types of things, it gives me a promise and I just want an async function instead of uh, returning the using the chaining thens. Okay, uh, let's see how it does with writing types now. So now that GitHub knows there's login followers following in public repo, could it possibly write the types for us? Let's try. Uh, so we'll say type uh, GitHub date. Okay, good. Okay, and then set it there, good. Duplicate function implementation. Where did I duplicate it? Oh, it's because I'm sharing a TypeScript config between the two. If I put an export here, that gets rid of it because now we make it a module and give it module scope. Let's do that one on here. All right, it did good. Uh, Amazon doesn't know what the keys are. So I don't know how to how it would do, but let's, let's try. Uh, let's make a... Fetch GitHub data. So type GitHub. Oh, oh. Login. Oh.
Amazon seems to think I like using four spaces as as my tabs. It's doing pretty good. Amazon, by the way, both of these have the ability to view all of the outputs in a separate tab rather than sitting here and pressing tab all day long. Wow, that's impressive. Is that actually right though? Is there an HTML URL? There is. Nice job. And then let's see if it will modify the return of this function. That's another thing. No, it's it's not. That maybe that that's one thing that uh Amazon is not good at is like if I wanted to type something in here, like let's say I was picking a username. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it is suggesting I give it a string type and set the default to West Boss, and then it returns a promise of GitHub data. But then it's it's finishing the function for me. I already have the function body right here, so now it's now I just now I've broken code. So I really just wanted. This, what did it do? This part, it duplicated it. Let's see if it can modify this string here. If I move it back. Come on now. There we go. Sometimes you gotta give it its own line. All right, that's nice. Let's see if GitHub can do that. Let's say username string returns a promise of GitHub data. Good. Then let's try change this. Yeah, I was much faster and better than the the Amazon one. Uh, let's see if it can. There we go. It knows to, to try to cast that. Can you cast that? You can. Wow. All right. I think that's good. Uh, so my conclusion is they are both very good. And I would be very happy to use the Amazon version because it is free rather than I'm paying, what, 10, 11 bucks for a Copilot one. Uh, I'll, I'll use the Amazon one for like a week more and, and see, and I'll, I'll post on my Twitter if not, but peace.